Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Prime, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. Where I'm checking my volumes, they look good, and I look pretty good myself. Good. So, um, I heard from a little bird that there's more presents inside Lumber Tycoon 2, and we need to go find them. So, Geronimo! That was a good jump. I don't know what is this. Trees. Oh, that's the candies. Oh, goodness. You know what? There's starting to become so much time in between me playing and actually recording that I'm forgetting what I'm doing. Oh, there it is. Okay. I'm like, where's my my truck spawner? I need it. Boop. I guess that was the truck over there. Wasn't it? <laughs> oh, well, you never know, right? Okay. Let's go find us some new ones. Go. Oh. By the way, oh my gosh, I know I had mentioned like people getting sick last week and stuff, but has everybody seen like the wave of influenza and COVIDs and sneezy coffee people? Like, sneezy coffee people everywhere. It's like crazy. It, like, oh, it, <clears throat> Tom, you don't, you don't have the COVID, do you? you, don't, you don't. <coughs> run, run, he's running. Okay. So these are the same presents. That's the chilly deep cold. Um, nothing new back here. So that's it for this one. By the way, if you've never played Lumber Tycoon 2 before, love the game. You should definitely go and play it sometime. Landstore never has any presents. You know what would like really freak people out? It's a different buying system though, isn't it? So it, it wouldn't work. <gasps> what if there was a present over here that you had to buy from Ruben, but you didn't know how? That'd be crazy. I almost feel like I want to go behind the rock and see the little arch. But I'm, I'm not good. I'm okay. There we go. Because I got the super badge. <clears throat> and, by the way, thank you everyone for all the beautiful, lovely comments of the, the happy birthdays and the things. Oh my gosh. You guys are crazy. Crazy. So many comments. And there was somebody that commented on uh, the Green Box video, like just yesterday. And they were like, dude, this was recorded and released on my birthday. I was like, dude, that's awesome. But I mean, that was a couple of years ago. Anyhow, it's pretty cool, I think. I like that. All right, Jenny. Let's go see if Jenny's got anything. Jenny? Jenny. Don't be fooled by the trucks that I got. I'm still, I'm still Ginny from the block. <laughs> Just back a little, now I have a lot. It's because all your prices are expensive. <laughs> Skills. Um. <laughs> ah, here we go. Yay. Okay, what is this? Uh, the wobbly gift of most confusion. The wobbly gift of most confusion. Uh, I'm going to guess it's a wobbly head. It is a wobbly head. Let's see. Is there anything up here? Nothing. Nothing else. Oh, wait. Oh, candy canes. Oh, they're so cute. Are they lights? They are lights. Oh, I'm getting some. I am going to get some of those as well. Okay. I don't know if we can open these up yet or not. Uh, I didn't even see how much they cost. So we got a wobbly head, and we got some uh, candy canes. So I'm not going to be able to open the wobbly head yet. So we'll have to purchase a few of those. Uh, the candy canes should be available for opening now. There, there's one. There's two. And come on, respawn. Come on, respawn. I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to get the fourth one. I'm going to try it though. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice. And purchase, 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 purchase. Yeah. Nice. We just got four presents at one time. And we got to get them out of the store before the store closes. Corey, dang it. Why can't you stay open like everybody else? Well, I guess you're like 
you are like everybody else. Everybody else goes to sleep. Why can't you be more like Tom? Tom runs a good, clean, 24-hour shop. You never hear Tom complain, you know? Just saying. <laughs> uh, I wonder if Corey's a... Never mind. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Uh, should I get some more candy canes? I'll, I'll look at them after uh, a while. See if it, it'll be worth our time to go get more. Might stock up on them a little bit, you know? I do like seasonal items. Items that only come out during certain times of the season. Oh, I'd really, what I'd really like. I almost thought he had a Christmas shirt on. Nope, it's the old Hawaiian shirt. Some TNT. Deck the halls with TNT. Dun, 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 dun. Light the fuse and watch them pee. No, you let it. <laughs> Tinkle. <clears throat> Just kidding. Okay, so. There's supposed to be more, right? Yeah. I just don't think they're released yet. That's all. Okay. So there are more presents to come. We should have them all here before uh, before Christmas actually comes. Uh, and for those of you that don't know, that is on uh, December 25th on your calendars. Uh-oh. I <laughs> didn't mean to switch calendars. How far away is that? Let's see. Two weeks. Almost exactly two weeks. In fact, next Saturday is Christmas Eve. Wow. That's awesome. So, you, like, everybody's going to get their uh, the Christmas break, right? So you get the entire week off from school and from college, and you get to go home for the holidays. If you happen to be one of those older viewers who are in college now and still watch my content, thank you, by the way, if you're still here. And if you're living off ramen, <laughs> did I tell you so? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm serious like that was the the coolest yet scariest part of my life was a uh, well, like I guess I didn't I didn't live in dorms I lived in uh, barracks but yeah it was basically dorms <laughs> so. uh. ramen noodle by the way that is a lifesaver when you're uh, living on college funds college budget I guess I don't need to line these up. I need to put them out here, don't I? <laughs> oh gosh. What are these? What is this? Uh, it says to open box, but I'm not sure I want to open the box yet. What is this? Are these the new presents? Wait a second. I know I purchased the other presents on the other... It's like... Wait, what is this? Hold on. <gasps> did I buy a whole bunch of the... Vortex thingies? I did, didn't I? No. Are these the voids? These are the void creatures. <gasps> Very precious. I need to keep these. Like, Christmas is cool and everything, but those voids, like... I know there's there's got to be something with them. There's something. Here, um, let's put you down here in the back corner. Very good. Hey! Scoob. Somebody donated a Scoob! Thank you. Um, should we... Yeah, we'll just we'll drive it over there. See, I made this mess of the candy over here, and I was like, oh, maybe I should pick it up. Maybe I won't. I don't know. I guess we could do like a little bit of a base cleaning video. Oh, snap. And I know there's a lot of people asking me to do Lamag videos. Lamag, Lamag, Lamag. Let's make a games, right? Just, I I want you to realize I have not... Ooh, it's the shiny turkey. I have not programmed in Roblox in some time. Like, it, it's probably been... Six, six months since I've touched code inside Roblox. So, it's not that I don't want to. I mean, I'm just doing a lot of things, that's all. Plus, I'm actually, uh, I'm really enjoying the programming stuff that I'm doing at work, which 
kind of fulfills that that itch to program, but it's not. It's still not like business business programming. It's automation programming, which is right up my wheelhouse. I love automation. In fact, I would love. Oh, you know, it'd be cool if we could make a Roblox game that was automated. Like it was AIs walking around completely and utterly. <laughs> that would take a little bit of processing power, just saying. Just saying. I did have an idea for um, like a side scrolling kind of game at one time. But anyhow, I won't get into it. What I would like to get into is the Christmas spirit. Let's go see what those lights do. <laughs> I really do want to see the lights because the uh, they look cool. <laughs> All right, we're going to hook you up to the same spot, just right there. I'm gonna bring you down here. Uh oh, maybe, maybe we'll go on this side. What, 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 what's going on here? What is, what is the deal, Leo? There we go. Okay. I had to get over the first wire. That's, that's what the problem was. How long was this wire? Oh, there we go. It's as far as it gets. Oh my gosh. Oh, they are so cool. Okay. That is a really cool model. Dude, ah, that's so cool. Hold on, screenshot, screenshot. <laughs> Sorry, that's the pause button, that's the wrong button. Click, ah, there we go, screenshot. Oh, no, I wasn't centered, hold on, do it again. Had my eyes closed, screenshot. There we go. Oh, that's gonna be so cool. Ah, oh, I love it, I love it so much. We didn't even see what this was, did we? Oh, it's the wobbly gift, the wobbles. We got to wobble the 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 wobble 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 <laughs> I'm like, not all of us are over 40. There's a guy who, like, kind of generalized everyone into that one little aspect. Mm. I'm 41, Bo. That, that's, like, because you guys just knew my birthday and everything. So. Ooh. Okay. Well, alley -oop. And there we go. So here's the cool thing. I know that Christmas Day is going to come around and everybody's going to be opening presents and doing things and like it's it's not really going to be the celebration of like hey, Lumber Tech and 2, we can open our presents. But you'll realize it sometime throughout the day and you'll be like, oh, I need to go jump on. And then you go and open your presents again and it's like, wow. Uh, okay, why am I not? Ugh. There we go. Oh, the sun's coming up. What time is it? We've only been recording for like 15 minutes. We're good. We're good, bud. We're good. We're good, bud. Let's do this. So, what should we do with our 15 minutes of extra stolen time? Because I thought there was going to be more presents. Um, should we go sit on the raft and go see if there's a... Uh, some over at Link's Logic, or maybe down in the presence area. Mm -hmm. What do you think? And while we're down there, we'll see if the uh, the Blue Cave Maze is open. That way, I can throw it into the title and be like Blue P Cave Maze Present Search, and be like all clickbaity and stuff, and then people can get that in the comments. And be like, oh. <laughs> But code doesn't click me. <laughs> uh, man. 
I gotta tell you, I've been having a lot of fun just hanging out with family and working on this new project, which I'm super excited for. And what's really been good is just kind of seeing the the channel. Like I know I know that there's not as many views as normal. That's fine. That it's it's more about like. I didn't bombard you the entire week with videos, so you had a chance to go sit down, watch the entire video, and not have to worry about another notification going off the next day. It's weird, like there's more views on that video than the three or four videos would have had throughout the week, you know? So, I think it's good. I know that a lot of you are like, oh, Rick Hard Mar, and it's just like, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm liking this pace. This is a good study pace, you know. And I could, you know, pause it while we go across. There we go. That'll, that'll save you some time. I forgot how bored I get sitting here waiting for the ferry. <sighs> oh, he's here, he's here. Look, look, look. There he is, there he is. He's taking off. See him? There he is. Here, Hoover, come on. Let's go, buddy. Could he drive any slower? Oh, he's almost here. He's almost here. He's right there. He's right there. He's right. I don't know why I'm getting excited because I still have to wait seven minutes. <laughs> oh. Man of little words. Little words. Okay. I guess I'll get. Well, actually, I don't want to sit in there if it's just going to be engine sounds the entire time. So I'll go ahead and pause and then we'll take the boat ride and we'll see you in a little bit. Well, actually, I could use this time. You know what? I'll use it like when we start the boat ride. That's when I'll do the, the like morality talk or whatnot. You know, where like I say stuff about my day. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn my boat around. Turn the car around. Truck. It's a truck. I said three different things there. It was a boat, car, and a truck all at the same time. There we go. So boom. There we go. And now I'll switch over to this one. This way, as I'm sitting, it like, boom. There. See? And now I should be able to zoom out and up like that. It'll recenter me. Boom. And now it's like we're riding in a boat. So, all right. I'll wait until the ride starts. I always forget how nostalgic this music is. Like, just... I remember the first time coming into, uh, I know the boat ride didn't start, but I don't care. I'm already thinking. Um, I remember the first time I came into Lumber Tycoon 2. Just this music alone set the pace, set the mood. And that's like one of the reasons I fell in love with the game. So anyhow, um, so I know a lot of you, you know that I've got two kids and they're about to turn 16 and 13. So I'm about to have one that's going from 12 to 13, first year of a 13 year old. And I've got one that's about to go into 16, first year of a 16 year old. So it's hard growing up because you have to learn how to parent yourself. And that's, that's one thing that we've, talked about in the past it's taking responsibility for your own actions doing your own thing blah 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 but when it comes to doing your own laundry picking out your own food coming up with a plan for your meals for the week you know that's adulting coming up with the gas money for your own car coming up with the insurance on your own car and it's a lot of things that people like we know about, we do, we ask our parents about it, just that's the adulting part, to, to get up and do the things you don't want to do, but you have to do. And here's the thing, in all actuality, you don't have to do any of those things, but you will also live with the consequences of what those actions bring. So if you don't go out and you get car insurance, or you don't go out and you get a job make money 
or do something, you know, it does. It will impact every aspect of your life. And it just, it comes down to, to preference <laughs> and healthy lifestyle balance. I think that's the biggest thing because money will come and go. You don't have to hold on to every single cent, I promise. Um, your health, that's very important. Stay healthy. But yeah, like money, education, stuff like that. That's it's really your choice. If you want to go out and get a degree, I don't even think they're looking to, at degrees the same. Hi, Link. How are you? Yes, I will chat with you for just a second. Hi, take a look around. How you been? Okay, cool. It doesn't really matter if you get a degree. I don't, I don't want to say this in a way that sounds condescending. Like, you should go get a degree. You should go and have fun in the job that you want. That's what everyone should do. Here's the thing. There's a lot of jobs out there that people don't want to do that need to be done. <clears throat> happens. I mean, that's, that's life. That's how things work. But if you're willing to do those things that people don't want to do, you usually get paid pretty well for them. And here's the thing. I know I'm happy at the end of the day just sitting in front of a computer, not talking to anybody, and going through code all day long. I love it. All right, here's the other thing. I'm social. I'm a very social person. I'm, my wife always calls me the social butterfly, and I'm the one that talks to people and everything else. But if it comes to preference, this is such a cool song, by the way. I would rather sit on a computer by myself, not hanging out with anybody. Like, that's just me. That's my own, own personal inner relationship with myself. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I have fun on computers. Um, but when it comes to, like, the social aspects of high school, that's what you're learning. You're learning how to become managers. You're learning how to interact with each other, work with coworkers, and... I mean, there's more to public school than just education or trying to get educated. And there's always better ways to learn. There's, there's always better jobs out there. There's always something better, you know? And that's the only thing I can say is just strive to do better. Whatever you're doing today, it might be great. It could be like the coolest thing ever. Do it better. Get better at it. I think that right there, you know, when it comes to any advice I could give you about life, career, love. Oh, I said I was going to go to the Blue Cave dinner. That's, that's just it. Do better. Be a better person. You know, be a better student. Be a better husband. Be a better wife. Be a better... Um, son, daughter, just better. Holy cow, where did I end up at? I don't think this is the way I was supposed to go. Oh no! I might truly be lost in the caves of wonder. Oh no, I'm not. Okay, I know where I'm at. By the way, if you guys don't know what that is, that is the, um, that is the teleport back to the savannah. Alright. We should have gone this way? This way. There we go. Okay, now we're going down the long hallway to the J-turn, which is right here. It's a little J-hook. Comes up, turns, door number one. Boop. Nothing down that second way. Go across, make a little S turn, go into the wishbone, down to the bottom of the wishbone, and door number three, door number, oh 
wait, there's no door here. This is just the top of the wishbone again. Okay, oops. Skills. There's door number two. Oh, door number two's open. Yay, door number two. Although I don't remember where door number two leads out to. I think I gotta go lefty. Lefty, left a room. Is that how we do this one? I think that was it. Oh, no, no, whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you going? That was the S turn, wasn't it? Hold on, hold on. I am lost. I am lost. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Did we find it? No, we did not. <laughs> okay. Reminder to self. Don't go down in the maze without pulling up your map. <laughs> Man, it's been a little while since I've been down here. I'm actually a little lost. Oh, wait, hold on. Is that the S turn? <gasps> That's the S turn. Okay, and then this is the downside. Okay, so. Come back over here, go up, left, left, and then this is right, right. Now if we go right and straight across, this will go left and right, then left, and blue. Oh. Why is it not glowy glowy? My graphics are all the way up. Hmm. Oh, no. Uh, escape. Settings. Graphics modes on manual, all the way up. Full screen's on. Graphics quality. VR's on, too. I, I don't know. I don't know why it's not. There's no bloom. Do you know what I'm talking about? The bloom effect? I'm not seeing bloom. Hmm. I can actually see the top of the ceiling. Huh. Wonder if it's my graphics. Is the bloom still on for you guys? Is it blurry? Like, when you look at it, does it have like a glow, like a neon glow to it? Because right now it's just looking blue to me. Hmm. Alright, well. Anyhow, I guess there's uh, no more presents for the time being, so I'll wait for the next update. Love you guys very much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of videos like a good YouTuber does. But it's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool too. You were here. You watched. You had fun. Sorry, I'm just trying to take up to like the last two minutes, but I guess it really doesn't matter. Love you guys. Have a great night. And we'll talk to you very soon. <laughs> Outro.